I found myself back in the room, and I wondered what 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 <laughs> what just happened. Yeah. But before I could even think, the Lord came huh. in a visitation. Yeah. Glory he to God. came down, and everything stopped. No mm. one could talk. No mm. one could move. Wow. Yeah. For an hour and a half. God promises in Joel 2.28 to pour out His Spirit on all humanity. Welcome to Global Outpouring, where we contend for that promised outpouring, we equip for that outpouring, so that we may engage in that very outpouring. I'm Philip Buss. And I'm Sharon Buss. Welcome to the podcast today. We have with us again Irene Fulmer, who has been called of the Lord to release realms of glory into the earth. The Lord has been working with her during her career as a nurse, and then after she retired, He's taking her into new realms of glory, and she is going to share with us some of the things today that God has done in her life to lift her up into the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. We're so glad that you're with us. Before we get started, let me just encourage you, if you haven't already done so, to go to our website, globaloutpouring.net, and be sure that you give us feedback. You can email us on feedback at globaloutpouring.org, or there's a a little place that you can uh, fill out on the website where you can give us feedback. And please make sure that you have signed up on our email lists because that's how we can stay in touch with you and keep you informed of the things that God is doing as He is helping us to equip people as we pray together and have intercession together to contend for the outpouring and contend for the glory and also to just share the things how God is moving in this earth in these days. So Irene Fulmer, thank you so much for joining us again on this episode of Global Outpouring. We're so happy that you're with us and we're just enjoying ourselves in your home and in the meetings that we're having with you. And I'm enjoying you two very much as well. Thank you for inviting me. (laughs) We're having such a good time, such a good time hearing the things that the Lord has been doing. And that's why I wanted to have you on this podcast to, um, to share with the people what God has done in your life and the things that he's doing currently, it's just absolutely amazing. You were, uh, in case our listeners didn't hear the previous episode, I encourage you to go back and listen to it because Irene shares a lot of stories of of her uh, her time as a nurse. And, And God was just giving her these downloads from the Holy Spirit of what to do and how to handle situations as she was the Lord said he, that he had her in his school of the Holy Spirit during her nursing career. And that, that was all about preparing you for the things that you're doing now. So during all those years when you were, when you were um, a nurse, God was also giving you supernatural experiences. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of those. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, he was working, like you said, simultaneously to teach me and then also to cause me to experience things that I was really at times afraid to talk about. Mm -hmm. Uh, One of those experiences was in 2008. I was uh, invited to go to a conference in Arizona and uh, the speaker was Joshua Mills, which Mm -hmm. a lot of people know. Mm -hmm. A glory boy. Yes, the glory boy. (laughs) And, uh, And you know, I told Joshua, Joshua, you know, you, you could be my son, but you're my mentor mm-hmm. in the Holy Spirit and in the supernatural realm. Because every time I met with him, I had a divine supernatural experience. Glory to God. And this one was a very beautiful one. He was uh, calling people forward for prayer. So I went forward and I was standing very close to him and the oil uh, was dripping out of the palms of his hands. Wow. Hmm. And I could smell the rose of Sharon. Hmm. And then he started to quote from the scripture in Ezekiel about the wheel in the wheel. Hmm. And as he's quoting this under the power of the Holy Spirit, all of a sudden the room is gone. Mm-hmm. And I see this wheel in the wheel coming to me. Wow. And it lifts me up into the wheel and I get taken up. Wow. Wow. 
Chloe like his, Sounds like Ezekiel. Yep. That Ezekiel's is the wheel. Ezekiel's huh. wheel in the wheel, yeah. and I get caught up in it. I don't even know what hit me. I, I, I when I realized that, that that just happened to you, I, I didn't even know what happened, but I started to experience to the right side of me a whirlwind, and uh, I would it's like a tornado. Like a swirling mm-hmm. of the energy would start to swirl, swirl. And the wind of the spirit. The yeah. wind of the spirit would start to swirl. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then it would actually engulf me. Wow. wow. It took me a while right. to understand what was happening. Right. And I, I actually, God used a woman at the conference, of course, because he wanted to teach me more. Sure. And this lady kept asking me to pray for her. I said, gee, I'm not in the leadership here, and I, I'm not comfortable really praying for you, ma'am, but if you want me to, after the meeting, I'll meet you outside if you want me to. So there she was after the meeting outside. Mm. I said, Lord, I, 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 I guess I'm supposed to pray for her. So when I went over to her, the world one came wow. to the right side of me. Oh, wow. And she started to tell me every day, I lose all the strength in my body and I have to go to bed. Wow. And this went on and on for, for months with her. And so the world one took me over as best I can remember. I the remember Holy the, Spirit. The Holy Spirit of mm-hmm. this world one and the power was so, oh, I, didn't, I didn't know how to explain the power. And I, I started to see things. Then I saw this uh, gray over her from what I remember. I remember the spirit speaking through me and uh, uh, taking authority and great power. And that was the prayer. I don't remember the exact words, but she never had that experience again. Praise God. Wow. Amen. She never had she that again. Deliverance. Yeah. yeah. And she, and she um, emailed me uh, after that because she was in a different state. Wow. I don't forget I was in Arizona. So, mm. and so, um, then uh, uh, when I got back to my job at the hospital, my sister called me. Uh, my sister-in-law's in room 103. Uh, would you go visit her? I said, of course I will, you know. So I go and the whirlwind starts. Wow. And the whirlwind takes over and I pray with her. Wow. And the whole thing changed. Wow. The doctor that was going to do something changed his mind and let this other doctor do something else. I I knew that was an intervention of the Holy mm-hmm. Spirit through mm-hmm. this world one. Sure. I left that and then I don't know not long after I get a call from a, a, a lady that worked at the hospital, can I come to room 207? Because she had a friend in that room. Mm-hmm. So I had a knowing it was the Lord. Mm-hmm. And I got to the room and Again, the world one comes to my right side, takes me over, and now I'm so under the power that I don't really control the situation anymore. It's mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit. Beautiful. And I'm speaking, I'm touching her wherever he moves my hands to touch. Wow. And, um, and then it's over. Wow. But this day, when I left that room, I was gliding down the hall. Wow. wow. And I said, Lord, where are my feet? <laughs> I said, Lord, I don't feel my feet. Oh, wow. I wow. said, where, where are they? I, I said, I'm obviously in my spirit because wow. I'm gliding. Wow. And my feet didn't come back until I was at the elevator. <laughs> wow. The Holy so Spirit was still carrying you. He was, he was, he was carrying me. So then I realized, well, you're in your spirit body. See, this is how you learn. Yeah, <laughs> you learn wow. the hard way. <laughs> wow. Now, who I couldn't tell anyone about that experience no. because it yeah. was, it yeah. was so supernatural. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, and this went on. It, it is still with me. Uh, I was invited to. A friend of mine's daughter was dying. It was sad because she was only 32. The Lord had used me to deliver her from a demonic um, entity. Mm -hmm. And uh, we met for prayer that day. And um, the Lord took me over with the spirit of might. Wow. That was, I believe, I believe that was the first time I experienced the spirit of might. 
I felt like I could raise the roof off the house. Wow. <laughs> I had so much energy and strength that I felt like a giant. Hmm. Mm. And at that moment, the realm opened up. Wow. And, and, uh, and I spoke to a foul spirit. Mm -hmm. And I said it had to go. Right. And uh, it was such a disgusting spirit. Hmm. I didn't know that the word foul meant so much horrible things. But mm. so the, the girl that it happened to, she wasn't even there. She was home. She was very ill. She was an alcoholic and, and she was suffering with, uh, you know, so many problems in her liver. When I went to the hospital, the girl did get delivered, but the Lord was planning on taking her home. Mm. And I got an urgency one day to get to that hospital. And it was all the way in the city. And uh, a friend took me there. I knew I had to get there. When I got over by her bed, my friend was with me. And uh, we started to pray. Jesus immediately came wow. over her bed as a blanket. Mm. And he baptized her into Christ. Oh, how beautiful. Mm, that's beautiful. She was baptized into him. Wow. And the woman that I was with smelled beautiful flowers. Hmm. Mm. That's because remarkable. it was Christ. It was. Yes. I, yeah, I think she said the flowers, the, the fragrance of flowers on that. And uh, and so as she's experiencing this, and I'm experiencing Christ going into her, he takes me up in the whirlwind, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I go up into the spirit, and he shows me the gate is opening. Oh, wow, for her to come home. <clears throat> <clears throat> the door is opening. Wow. I see the... I, the world went and then I see the door open. Wow. And I knew she's going home today. Mm hmm That's why I had to get there. That was... And yeah. he had to come and baptize in her. It's very beautiful. It was very beautiful. It's amazing the things that God wants to see done before we go home. Mm hmm And there's lots of things that are done in the unseen realm that he's accomplishing. When when a person is uh, in the process of dying, you mm -hmm. know it's it's amazing to me how thorough he is, and and the number of times that that um, that you hear stories of people who um, who are dying, I think it's especially amazing for Jewish people who have resisted Jesus, and all of a sudden, in their last dying moment, they make some kind of a statement like, "Oh." It's you. Yes, I'll go with you. Or <laughs> Yeshua, it really is you. Yeah. Yes. And then they're gone. And what I found too is the Lord cares more about the person's spiritual growth mm -hmm. than he really does about healing the body, you know, yes. necessarily. Mm -hmm. I, right. I did have an opportunity to pray for a man who had cancer. And uh, uh, when I prayed for him, the gray color was gone and, and his color came back. Wow. wow. <laughs> and uh, and he was like, I'm healed, I'm healed, you know. And uh, I thought, wow, you know, Lord, you know, that was so powerful. You touched this man, you know. And uh, and his name is Angelo. So uh, I get a call maybe a month or so later. Can you come to the hospital? Because Angelo was here in room, whatever room it was. Yeah. So I said, okay, and I knew I had to get the oil. And when I held the oil up to before the Lord and prayed, the fire of God came on the oil. Wow. Mm. So when I got to the hospital, I knew the Lord had something in mind. Mm -hmm. And I just let the person do what they were doing. I stayed quiet. Mm -hmm. But I, I noticed that I was in a different place. Mm -hmm. And in the spirit, I could describe it as being on the rim. I was on the rim. And when I looked, I could see the brilliant light of eternity. Beautiful. And I'm standing in this place, and I can hardly stand. Hmm. And the lady that was in the room with me kept falling. Wow. But I couldn't even help pick her up because I could hardly stand. Wow. So I had to let her fend for herself. <laughs> and I didn't mean to, t you know, but that's what had to be. So uh, I'm, I'm in this place and uh, 
And then when it came my turn to pray, I knew I had to take the oil and put it right over here on Angelo. On his stomach. On his stomach area. And uh, I knew exactly where I had to put it by the spirit. Mm -hmm. So I did that. And I don't even remember what I prayed. Yeah. And I, and then I said, Angelo, what, what just happened? Yeah. And this is what Angelo told me. He said, well, he said, the angel came in the room and the angel came over right here and made a, an opening and he put a pipe in the opening. That's the same place where you anointed. And he poured the oil. Wow. And I said to Angelo something that I didn't even understand what I was saying. Yeah. I said, Angelo, you have received more than a healing today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he turned from gray to beautiful, healthy color. Hmm. And he raised his arms and started to worship the Lord, saying, I am healed, Jesus, I'm healed, you know. This is the second time. This is the second time he's saying the same with the arms. He's so, he's been touched. Wow. I could hardly drive home. And <laughs> I sat in the chair when I got home. I, I couldn't even function for hours. Wow. And so I realized that I, again, was in my spirit body, mm -hmm. and I didn't understand it right and i was taken into the spirit where i was at the rim mm. and i was working with the angels yes oh. and they were doing the work yeah so i was in awe of the lord i said lord this is amazing you know but about another couple of months get a call hmm. irene can you come to hospice oh my because angelo is here mm hmm so I get over to hospice. I said, Lord, I do not understand you. Mm -hmm. As I usually say, you know, with things yeah. like this. And so there he is, charcoal gray. Oh my. He's charcoal gray. And uh, there's another gentleman there with me that wants to pray. And he says, take his hand and I'll take his hand. And the two of us, when we took his hand, we wanted to drop his hands because mm. you could feel the death. Wow. He's in his hands. And, wow. and he's looking at me and he don't want to, we didn't want to touch his hands. You know, the feeling of like not wanting to touch death. Wow. Yeah. And, and we prayed, you know, and I had a vision and I saw, I saw like the small circle that had been a, connected to this big circle mm -hmm. and, and how it went out. But then how the small circle, which represented Angelo, mm -hmm. was going back to the big circle. Yeah. And it, the Lord was showing me, he came from God mm -hmm. and he's, he's going God. back to God. Yeah. Beautiful. His home. Beautiful. God is his home. Mm -hmm. And that's where Angelo is going today. Wow. Wow. And Angelo went home. But I believe the Lord did a work in Angelo's spirit. Sure. That mm -hmm. other time mm -hmm. when the angel came. Yes. And brought the pipe. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we see this uh, in uh, the book of Zechariah with the pipe, with the oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, there it was. And, and so... So the, uh, these are the two witnesses. Uh, it, 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 what is that? That stand key? before the God of the whole universe. Yes. And they, uh, they pour the oil from the bowl. Yes. And, uh, you know, so... From the pipes. Uh, right, from the pipes, yes. And uh, so, you know... Um, I remember a poem that I always loved by uh, William Wordsworth, and just this one line of it is, uh, trailing clouds of glory do we come from God who is our home. Mm -hmm. You know, and that this so earth is beautiful. not our permanent dwelling, right? Yeah. We come from him. And it's uh -huh. all about our spirit growing and developing. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Lord allowed. I believe God wanted Angelo to get a higher place in eternity. And Amen. he did his work. Amen. You know, even Beautiful. though we don't have really understanding too much, mm -hmm. we're, we're Amen. trying. Amen. God is so good to us. Amen. Uh, there was another time when I experienced the uh, pipes that we're talking about from the book of Zechariah, chapter four. Uh, we were worshiping at my meetings at Realms of Glory. And uh, again, the Lord was pouring the glory, just, just pouring it. Hmm. And 
I, I, we, we kind of wind up in a cluster in the center of the room because he kind of like just gravitates us all to <laughs> experience this. And uh, I started to experience this thick golden oil. I knew it was golden by the spirit because I didn't see it, mm-hmm. but I called it golden oil and it was so thick. And I started to experience it pouring through me. And it was going out far than I've ever known Mm -hmm. because I experienced it going down the streets in the community. And I don't usually ever have an experience like that. Mm. So it was a different one. And what made it very different too was I was saying, I'm in a pipe Mm -hmm. with the Lord. Wow. Mm -hmm. And, And the oil, this golden oil is pouring out of this pipe. Wow. And yeah. I kept saying, I'm, I'm in this pipe. You know, wow. it sounded kind of funny, but I'm in this pipe and this golden oil and everybody's falling over from this oil that, that you know, flow. is flowing in, yeah. in a powerful way, more than usual. Mm-hmm. And one of the gentlemen that was there with us, precious brother, he starts shouting out from the book of Zechariah mm-hmm. about the oil. And, and about the, the two golden pipes that empty the golden oil uh, out of themselves. And that's exactly what I was standing there doing. Yeah. And we were like amazed. So, you know, God has us at the throne. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we are there. Mm-hmm. And, and we, are, we are his branches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. And... and we are connected to the main branch. Right. And and it's pouring and it's coming through us and it's going out now to the world. Yes. He was saying, I am increasing this. It was an increase like I had never known. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, and yeah. that just happened, uh, that happened this year, uh, several months ago. Wow. Maybe back in uh, March. Glory to or God. Or February yeah. or March where this... Uh, I'm experiencing being in this pipe, you know, and this, <laughs> and wow. it was glorious, glorious wow. beyond. So, you know, this is the Lord. He's mm-hmm. going to touch this world. Yes. Yes. Amen. I mean, we're, we're going to be the, you know, the pipes. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. And he wants every one of us to be carrying the individual thing that God has put in us. You are a pipe from the Holy Spirit. I'm a pipe of the Holy Spirit. Um, every He's in Philip us. is every every one of us has a connection to that golden oil, and he wants to pour through each and every one of us, and each and every one of us is going to express it just a little differently because we are unique. Well, you know, he is the one that's in us, mm-hmm. and he come he will come as the expression that he desires to come through each one, right? You yes, know? right. And, and, and he'll dress himself in our personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he's the oil, <laughs> right. see? He's and the there oil. it is right in the scripture, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. with that oil. So we, I believe we're all going to be experiencing the mm-hmm. beautiful oil. Amen. 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 That's what he intends anyway. I think we just have to keep saying yes. Mm, yeah. Yes, keep being obedient. So um, you mentioned earlier uh, about about a young mentor, but you've had other mentors. Would you tell us a little bit about... Uh, one of the really, really uh, impacting mentors in your life, Wade Taylor. Tell us about him. Well, I'd like to to share an experience that I I had with Wade Mm -hmm. that uh, was very supernatural. So he was the director of Pinecrest Bible Training Center? Yes, he was the founder. Founder, He was the founder of Pinecrest Bible School in Salisbury, New York. And uh, I believe he was there for like 38 years Hmm. And then the Lord told him, go to Washington, D.C. Hmm. and intercede for the nation. Wow. Wade was an intercessor, mm-hmm. and I was one of his intercessors that prayed for him. Wow. Mm-hmm. And so I was part of that team, and we would pray. And it, it was the Lord gave me a very closeness to Wade, uh, not in the early years of my walk with the Lord, but it was in the later years, mm-hmm. even though I knew of him and had gone to, you know, Pinecrest Bible School many times. So this particular time that uh, I wanted to share today, 
I was up at a conference again. It was in Connecticut. And uh, I was driving home. And I said, Lord, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm not experiencing my body. (laughs) Where'd it go? (laughs) I know. It's like, can you tell me where it is? (laughs) And it was kind of unusual feeling. And yeah. I'm driving, and I'm like, Lord, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm in my spirit because uh, I was driving. The it's car. happened to me before, <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, so I guess I'm in my spirit. And uh, and then I remembered that uh, Wade was having some problems with his heart, and he uh, was having some arrhythmias. And before I went to the conference, I remember praying for him and his heart with some other people. And so uh, when I got home, within a few minutes, the Lord told me to call Wade. So I did. When I called Brother Wade, within a minute or two, I was completely taken over now into the spirit. And I felt like I was flames of fire. Hmm. Hmm. Now I went from not experiencing my body to feeling like flames of fire are all through my body. Hmm. And I started to get a a vision of Wade's heart and the muscle and the cells. Mm -hmm. And as best I can remember, I was speaking to his heart cells. And it was the Holy Spirit speaking into those cells. Wow. And as I was speaking... Wade said, I have never experienced virtue like this before in my life. And the Lord healed his heart muscle and the the, the, the arrhythmias. Glory to God. They were healed. And I was, you can imagine the the shock I was in. Mm -hmm. This man had helped me so much. And and here I was being used to help him. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was so honored and blessed by even being a part of that, you know? Beautiful. A few more things happened. I remember the power was lifting me off my feet. Mm -hmm. I was just being lifted and the fire all through my body, right? I remember things going on to do with, you know, breaking of stuff around his ankles and things like, and we were, we were off the phone then we, we were finished with the call. Wow. But I was not going to sleep that night. Mm. <laughs> I said, Lord, what was that? What happened? And he told me, John chapter 2. On the third day, there was a wedding mm-hmm. in mm. Cana of Galilee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was showing me, I've brought you into the spirit. And then I met you there. Wow. And when he met me in the spirit, That's when I felt the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then he did a creative miracle. Remember when he changed the water into wine? Yes. Well, he did another creative miracle. He healed Wade's heart cells. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so that was a creative miracle that happened in his heart. And then he showed me that that's what I I did. Uh, I I did that on the third day. See the day of the Lord. Mm-hmm. I brought you into your spirit where you're going to be walking. Then I met you there. I married you. The two become one. Beautiful. A few days later, he gave me the scripture in John six. Jesus told the disciples, "You go on to the feast of tabernacles, and I'm not going to go, but yeah. you go." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he appeared in secret at mm-hmm. the Feast of Tabernacle. Mm-hmm. And he showed me, I appeared in you, mm-hmm. in secret, mm-hmm. in the Feast of Tabernacle. Yeah. Because the Feast of Tabernacle is when he is joined to us. Dwells. And we become one. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're coming into now. That, yes. That last feast, the Feast of Tabernacle. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so he, he was showing me, I gave you as a, a little secret here, you you experience this before time, mm-hmm. but I let you experience this feast of tabernacle where the two become one flat, and I'm in you, and I move through you as we're one. Beautiful. And yes. uh, and 
and then uh, and then about another day later i heard uh, the scripture ringing inside of me for hours you know it took me a long time to realize what he was saying <laughs> the flesh is slow mm-hmm. <laughs> and the verse was it's from the psalms it, it was um Oh, Lord, my Lord, how great is your name in all the earth. Mm-hmm. And that went on and on. Oh, Lord, my Lord, how great is your name in all the earth. And then he was letting me know, my name is in your earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, you're made of earth. Yeah. And he was letting me know that my name has broken open in you. Amen. And I knew at that moment that when the enemy looks at us, they know who has authority and who doesn't. Right. Because mm-hmm. yeah. they could see if the name, mm. they could see if the name is broken open in the vessel. Beautiful. That's beautiful, yes. And if it's broken open, the enemy runs. Yes. Because it's the authority of Christ. Amen. But if we stay a little seed, he's mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the true. fullness is there, but as a seed. Mm-hmm. That's why he he calls us to grow. Yes. He calls us to come to maturity. Yes. The apostle Paul says, I travail. I travail that you that Christ, Christ be, be formed. fully formed yes. in you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And and that that's that's what we're saying and that's what God is saying now. He wants the body to mature so that they can come into the fullness of this authority. Yes. yes. That yes. we yes. all yeah. have been given, but mm-hmm. we have to overcome. Yes. To earn it. Thank you, It's Father. true. It's true. The son that has the inheritance doesn't get it when he's a child. Right. right. But when he becomes a mature son, then mm-hmm. he enters into all this fullness. We have so much to look forward to. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. And in Christ. So, it's true. And yeah. it's not just in the sweet by and by. It's for here it's and now. now. It's yes. for now. But we have uh-huh. to come into that maturity first. Yeah. Yes. We yeah. we are going to be a triumphant bride when Amen. he comes. Amen. You know, he, he's not going to be, uh, you know, there was not one feeble among them mm-hmm. with Moses. Mm-hmm. And we're further along than that. Yes. And there, there's, we're, we're going to be a triumphant bride Amen. when Christ returns. Amen. 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 That Amen. is so beautiful. You know, um, you mentioned Paul's words about, I travail again for you in, in birth. And and you've told us several stories today, uh, and I'd like to just get a, a, at least one or two on the podcast, of how the Lord has used weeping in you to to bring forth something it's it was a it was a kind of a travail it was an intercession that would just come over you can you tell us one or two of those stories mm-hmm. yes i was uh i was we had invited a speaker to come to speak a precious brother and uh we were worshiping and uh i i found that i couldn't stand the worship which was very strange so again i was in my spirit man but didn't realize it mm-hmm. but i I, could, I wanted to hold my ears. I didn't, I couldn't stand the, the, the songs. Which is very unusual because you're usually really switched on in worship. Sure. So this is different. So this Something's was different. Happened. I realized that I was, again, he takes you in the spirit when you least expect it. And mm-hmm. so couldn't stand the music. And then I find that I've been taken up and I'm, I'm now in a room and Jesus is in the room. Yeah. And I start crying out to him. Lord, you have to come down. Lord, you have to come down. I was pulling on him. I, I was I was weeping. I was I was calling, Lord, you you have to come down. And and that lasted like I don't know, not very long, a few minutes or whatever that was. And then I found myself just back in the room, you know, worshiping with everyone else. Yeah. By then you were able to enter into the worship. Oh, well, right? well, well, I found myself back in the room and I wondered what, 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 <laughs> what just happened. Yeah. But before I could even think, the Lord came huh. in a visitation. Yeah. Glory he God. came down and everything stopped. No mm. one could talk. No mm. one could move. Wow. Yeah. For an hour and a half. Wow. We sat there. With the holiness of Christ in the room, Hallelujah. visiting us, no one could do, 
you heard a little bit of weeping here and there, but no one could talk. No. He took over for yes. an hour and a half. Wow. And the brother that was there, he said, Irene, I could I said, I know. I know we couldn't do anything. We were so blessed to be visited by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Beautiful. Amen. It's yeah. it's wow. better to have Jesus' presence than a special speaker. <laughs> you can well, say as wonderful that again. as special speakers might be, and you know he got so blessed too. We were all so bl it was beautiful, wonderful. And, and so you know the times like that where you. Um, uh, another time, I um, I happened to. It's funny this Reese Howells book, oh, The yeah. Intercessor, oh, yeah, Intercessor, came yeah. on my phone. And I thought, oh, gosh, I haven't read that book in years. So as an audiobook showed up? And it did. It showed up on my phone, mm -hmm. the audiobook, um, in, my, um, in my YouTubes. Sure. And so I thought, oh, I love that book so much. I forgot about that book. And oh, I put it on. Started listening. I'm into, into listening maybe 20 minutes or maybe even less. And I find that I get overcome with weeping. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I am weeping, weeping, weeping. And uh, I don't know for how long I wept, maybe maybe, uh, maybe 15 minutes. Wow. And then it, it lifted. And I said, Lord, what was that? I, I didn't seem to get an answer, you know. But it wasn't long after that he had given me a scripture, and it was to do with my uh, intercessors group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we've mm -hmm. been praying every week for years. So he gave me a scripture in Isaiah 21, verse 5, that spoke of, um, I will anoint the shield. He was saying, anoint the shields. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And and that has to do with battle. Right. Because when you anoint the shield, you, you're, you're slippery. Mm -hmm. And you also blind the energy, too, with the anointing. And so he was saying... Of course, he does everything. So he was saying, I'm going to anoint the shield. So that day, the day that we were supposed to uh, get together to intercede, he told me, have the meeting in the dining room and have lunch. And in that scripture, he talks about he talks about feeding. If I read that scripture now, it would be mm -hmm. exactly as he told me. Mm -hmm. And so... I knew I had to read the verse, and when I did, in front of the women that were there, there were about seven of us, I started to read that verse, and the Lord opened, he opened up the realms of heaven, and he came in, wow. and he was letting me know that day, I have moved you up another level of intercession. Mm. I have oh, wow. moved you up. Wow. Yes. And kind of like Reese Howells got moved up into yes. layers yeah. and levels of yeah. intercession. Mm -hmm. And that day was a promotion in the other realm Yes, in intercession. Yes. Then That's he showed beautiful. me to anoint each one with the oil. Mm -hmm. And as I anointed each one, the power of God was imparted according to as the Holy Spirit designed it to be, go to each one. I had no control over how much power you yeah, know, yeah. and sure. what happened, who fell on the floor, who <laughs> fell across <laughs> the room. <laughs> I had no control over it. And that's what I see with the Lord. Like I, yeah. I, I will go to hug someone and then I'll get overshadowed. Mm -hmm. and, I, oh, and we both don't expect it. Right. And, you know, we're like, kind of like falling on, you know, because wow. that's his, uh, you know, he, he wants to do what he wants to do. And he's so precious. Yes. It's very beautiful. So. Yes. And he Amen. wants to take us from one glory realm to yeah, the next glory, glory realm, to from glory. glory to glory to That's glory. That's right. Hallelujah. That's so true. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. So we want to encourage our listeners to just connect with, with her. Uh, she's been writing a, a publication, but it's a... It's a um, it's a compilation. a compilation of beautiful writings of things and experiences that people have had. And and uh, it's called The Long Island Light. It's a Realms of Glory publication, and it's the publisher is Deeper Life Press. So uh, if you are interested in getting onto her mailing list... Yeah, put their email address. You can send an email to ivictory at optimum.net. And that will help you to just write the word subscribe in the subject line. And um, yes, and then you'll be able to get this Long Island Light publication 
um, to, to share what, what, what God is doing on Long Island, because he's doing some amazing things here. Well, you know, the Lord gave me this desire. It was in me again. He puts everything inside me and then he's trying to get it to birth out. And I had this desire to, uh, you know, comfort the body of Christ, uh, yeah. and uh, bring them comfort and encourage them to, to grow. Yes. See, um, what I learned from Wade was about coming to maturity. Yes. So I had a teacher that was constantly talking about, not about doing, but about becoming. Yes. Yeah. And, Amen. and about yeah, becoming it. this, you know, because the treasure's within us. Yes. And Amen. we have to get that treasure to break open. Amen. So that we can feed the world, right, and bless the world, and the ex and that the excellency of the power may be of God and not, not of, of us. us. Yes, Amen. but you know what? He lets it flow through us. Isn't it beautiful? That's how much He loves us. He you does. Know? Yeah, he Just does. like the Father gave the Son, mm -hmm. and you know when He said, "Father, I've done what You asked me to do." Yes, I have manifested Your name. Yes, mm -hmm. to to all those. How and beautiful. again, see again that union. It's the union mm -hmm. where we have something to offer. Right. When when Peter and John, well, we don't have silver or gold, but we can give you what we have. Exactly. And they had, they had the might mm -hmm. of a, a million armies. And Amen. when they said, "Rise up, rise and, up walk. and walk," yeah, that man leaped. He Amen. leaped to his feet. Amen. He was healed by the mighty that power. That's yes. that's what's coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what's coming now yeah. yes. in this end of the age now. It's yes. upon yes. us. It's, it's the book of Acts on steroids. Oh, it sure is. He, he even showed us that one, one day. He said he was coming f much further than Pentecost. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He took me in the spirit and he said, I am taking you far further than Pentecost. And, and I experienced the length of the increase. Mm. And we're going much further. Yes, we, you know, we like it says the eye hasn't seen nor the ear heard, and we're in a day now where we are in a new environment, mm -hmm. and we're learning how yes. to function there. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. Would you pray for our listeners before we close? Oh yes, thank you, Lord, for this time, and Lord for what was shared, and Lord, we know that's your desire that 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 each one, each seed would grow. Lord. Yes. You said there's some 30, there's some 60, and there's some 100. Lord, we ask you by your grace that the seeds would grow yes. into yes, full Father. maturity. Mm -hmm. Lord, that your intervention would cause this, Father, and that there would be many sons coming mm -hmm. into maturity now. Even as you said, Lord, in your word, that all creation groans and travails for the manifestation of the sons of God. Yes. yes. And Father. let it come, Lord. We say, let it come. Yes. By your power and by your glorious Holy Spirit. Yes. In Lord. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 If you enjoyed today's podcast, please subscribe, rate, and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts. Your review helps the podcasting platform suggest this podcast to other listeners who are also looking for a great move of the Holy Spirit. Check out our website at globaloutpouring.org to find out more information, read our blogs, connect with us, and donate. You can also browse our web store for life-changing anointed books. Until next time, this is Sharon Buss. And I'm Philip Buss. God bless you with his overwhelming, loving presence. <laughs>